Hi there, as you can see this revision video is on Unit 4 of the 2013 GCSC exam for Mark's Gospel. It gives you the questions which were asked and model answers to those questions. First question, who was John the Baptist? Pretty easy question, nice easy answer to remember, the man who baptised Jesus in the River Jordan. Two out of two, a correct definition. Do you think the raising of Jairus's daughter causes problems for Christians today? You may think that it does. I'm going to give you a model answer saying that it doesn't. No, I do not think that the raising of Jairus's daughter causes problems for Christians today. This is because we are told that there were a lot of people in the house at the time that the incident occurred. As eyewitnesses to this event, they could not all have been wrong. Many Christians believe, therefore, that the raising of Jairus' daughter happened exactly as it is reported in Mark's Gospel. Secondly, Christians believe that Jesus was the Son of God. This means he had power over life and death. Central to Christian belief is the story of Jesus' resurrection. As Christians believe that Jesus had the power to bring himself back from the dead, there is no reason for them to doubt that he could have brought Jairus' daughter back from the dead. That's two developed reasons, four out of four. Explain why, what the calming of the storm shows about Jesus. The calming of the storm shows that Jesus had power over nature. As with just a few words, quiet be still, Jesus brought the storm to an end. For Christians, the calming of the storm also shows that Jesus was really the Son of God because only the Son of God could perform such a miracle. Many of Mark's early readers would have believed that a storm was caused by the power of evil. To these Christians, Jesus' calming the storm would have shown that he had power over evil. For many Christians, the calming of the storm also shows that Jesus cares for his followers and that he will look after them through the storms of this life. That's a clear understanding of the issue using four brief reasons, eight out of eight, because there are no spelling errors. Or grammatical errors. Jesus must have been the Messiah. A statement. Do you agree? Give reasons why someone would disagree with you. I agree with this statement because during his trial before the high priest, Jesus was asked if he was the Messiah and he replied with the words, I am, even though he must have known that saying this would lead to his execution. Also, Jesus entered Jerusalem on a donkey on Palm Sunday, which fulfilled prophecies about the Messiah. In addition, Peter clearly identified Jesus as the Messiah in his confession. Remember, his confession is a declaration of something rather than saying that he was sorry about something. That's three brief reasons, three out of three for that. Someone might disagree with me because the Messiah was supposed to save the Jews from evil. Je Jesus clearly did not do this. Also, the Messiah was supposed to bring in a time of peace and happiness. Again, Jesus clearly failed to do this. In addition, many Jews believed that the Messiah would end Roman occupation. Not only did Jesus not do this, he was actually crucified by the Romans. Three brief reasons on that side. Three out of three. 100% altogether. A star. And remember, all it takes is revision. You're doing that right now. Keep doing it.